everyone welcome back at it again so what we got here is a outer box defender case okay uh, i bought this for my iphone xr phone this is my current screen protector case uh for my iphone xr uh it's decent but the issue is my actual um you know the clip the clip that you put on the socket side of the uh the case basically the clip holder that basically this phone goes into it broke i actually can't show you the actual clip holder for this uh because it's in the back of my vehicle um it's trash uh of course me being me i always try to figure out some sort of way to fix stuff but once your cell phone clip holder breaks it's, it's garbage so this brand is called soup case it's actually pretty good um i love it i absolutely love it it's much cheaper than the outer box it does have its drawbacks, okay? Um, it, it wouldn't be something that I would trust my iPhone dropping from, you know, here on down. I, no. Out of box case, yes, it has happened. Like, this is my iPhone 6 Plus. And this, I just happened to, like, I dropped this thing from a high level. Um, where was I? I think I was on a ladder. And it just, boom, dropped to the ground you know so it still works this was the original case where my iphone xr went into it says soup case it was definitely a nice uh decent case and it took some damage but you know this plastic part it cracked so And also with my iPhone XR, I have a, um, you know, this is just plastic, but on an iPhone XR, the screen itself, I have, you know, like the glass protection just because, you know, this is plastic. But as far as the back, this thing was awesome. You know, it had a little stand, which that broke off. So this is what's present. Our outer box defender for a iPhone XR. I want to say that outer box makes a defender case for all versions of the iPhone. Okay. This is my iPhone 6 Plus. It still works. Still works. This case has been through, <laughs> it's been through, through a battle. But just look at this plastic. Like this case has been dropped and the plastic is still intact just look at that just look at that again the rubber's cracked and that's because you know me taking it um off and on the plastic just look at look at it look at the chip marks in the plastic like, that's some serious damage. Some serious damage. Look at that. This thing has been through some damage. Look at that. You see that right there? All right, so what we're going to do is take this thing out of here to show you guys how well intact my iPhone 6 Plus is. Because this thing, it, it dropped. I mean, it dropped. Golly. There we go. Again, this, I had this for years, so. But it's still, it's still very, very useful. Again, just look at this plastic. Now, let's compare it to this thing, which is what the um, iPhone XR was in. Look at this plastic. Let's see, we can pop this bad boy off here. Oh, 
again, this is plastic also, but this, the plastic case is so thick. It's like it's thickness that if it were to drop on something, it's gonna touch around the bezel. More so, the rubber boot is gonna catch it before it even gets to the plastic. But if it does get to the plastic, like the outer lip is so thick that it's just gonna do like that. It's not gonna be direct hit unless, unless you actually drop your phone onto an itch or something like that, you know, then yeah, it's gonna definitely penetrate. But commonly when people drop phones, it's like, you know, you're dropping them on the ground. All right, so this is the iPhone 6 Plus. No cracks on the screen. Beautiful, beautiful. I still use this phone as a backup. And I definitely still keep it in the outer box. I've only had to replace this iPhone uh, screen once, and it was uh, because what had happened. Um, I had the phone out the case, and I had it on my desk, and like one of my kids came and something basically fell in, went psh, like that. So commonly, when I put my phone down on any surface, I always flip it over like that. So that way, if something happens and it drops, it'll just hit, hit that and it'll be totally fine. All right, guys, as promised, this is my bare naked iPhone XR. I absolutely love it. I got the glass protection on here for extra safety. It's also on here as well. Before I even Put it in here what you always want to do with your phone is take a microfiber cloth hopefully this microfiber cloth doesn't have any anything in here that will scratch it i don't see any anything that will scratch it such as you know if it fell on the floor picked up some uh debris but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean the phone Okay, that's nice and clean. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're also going to wipe the actual lens for the camera. We will do the light too. I want this thing to be nice and clean. Then we got a front facing camera. So we're going to do the same here. Okay. Cool. This is the outer box defender case, guys. Check it out. Check it out for the iPhone XR, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, man. I just love this thing. Let's see what we have in the box. What's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. Let's see, it says screenless edition. Okay. Comes with some uh, instructions here. All right. But, you know, who needs instructions when you guys got me? All right. I think this is probably something with the warranty. Yep. My clip, like this clip, had broke on my um, iPhone XR. I mean, not my iPhone XR. So, as you guys see, my iPhone 6 Plus has an outer box. Now, the thing that commonly fails is eventually the actual clip. Uh, if you're too hard at pulling it or something, let's just say it gets caught up in it and it breaks, they'll give you a replacement. Um, I think you go to the website and you got to send them a, submit them like an email or I think it's a web form. And I think you got to submit a picture uh, of it 
of it broken with you know with their logo and they'll send you a replacement so we have our iphone xr here it's nice and clean so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that okay so now as you guys can see we have the case so what we want to do is remove the rubber boot i just try to peel it off a little bit and just work my way around my way around show there we go slowly but surely you'll get it off okay so that's the uh, rubber boot this thing is awesome flexible and dependable okay trust and blame Flexible and dependable, just as this case. Okay. Now, many of you guys wouldn't do that to a new case. I know that for a fact. So, there's we gotta basically unclip this. Okay. Kind of pop this bad boy up a little bit. It's definitely locked. Let's move to the top. There we go. And move over here. Okay, shit. Yeah, this part is definitely going to be. There we go. Pull it out. Just take your time. Don't try to force stuff. If it seems like it's hard to get off, you know, just flex a little bit until it gets off. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay our phone in here. Man, I absolutely just love this. It's nice and smooth. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Ah, I love it. Yes, sir. Certified, baby. Okay. All right. Screenless edition. Meaning, it doesn't have that plastic screen on it. It will be very beneficial for what you, I have is I got the glass screen on here. Okay. The glass screen protection. That's actually much better than the plastic thing. Like this will be basically the screen that they're referring to. You see, like that's not gonna do much. And sometimes this screen may counter react to your finger touch. So glass, perfect. Put this bad boy on here. First I wanna make sure I'm doing it in the right direction. Okay, we're good to go. That's perfect. Perfect. Now, you're not going to be able to actually utilize the buttons without the rubber boot. Okay, like it's going to be hard for you to actually touch it by hand. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to put on the rubber boot and then that way you can uh, be able to All right, so now we got the rubber boot partially on and this is going to help us be able to Utilize our buttons on the phone uh, this thing you gotta kind of like get her in there there we go and just pretty much um just move it around there we go and we are there this is wonderful got my finger prints all over it that's no problem no problem 
out of box this type of case is more so beneficial for prevention of screen being cracked when your phone drops or drops that way um, it is not a waterproof case this model is not a waterproof case okay and again it does not come with that plastic screen such as what this one has but you know again this plastic screen really won't do much uh it may prevent like you know the very fine scratches such as dust and stuff if dust is on here and you do like that it'll basically prevent that but it's not that useful uh useful this is very useful because you have direct um, access to touch your screen and again i have a actual glass screen protector uh, of which is very beneficial i absolutely love this case if this video has been helpful to you guys please don't forget guys to like and share my video if you're interested in checking out outer box defender i actually purchased mine from amazon so be sure to check them out or you know just hop on outer box website and uh they'll hook you guys up